know anything about shadows and lights and I'm trying to understand but I can't Now 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 heavy now heavy now heavy now everybody now, sing heavy, that shit <laughs> Y'all, it's your girl Tay Pancakes, aka Taylor Stevens, aka Tay. Hey. I don't know why I said it like that. If you're new here, welcome. What's up? What's popping? You know what's good? Y'all know I like trying new things, and I'm like, I hear painting is very therapeutic, and I'm like, why not try it with y'all for the first time? This is gonna be a series on a journey to learn how to paint. Y'all, I went all out. I got me a little like canvas going on here. This is my paint attire. I bought all of these brushes. I don't know what none of them are for. I bought these scraper thingies, pajamas. I bought this. I bought the acrylic paint. And I got my little cup of water. Don't roast me because I am not an artist. At least not yet. I do want to learn it, you know? A lot of people in my family... <coughs> My uncles are great artists. Uh, my grandmother's an artist. You know, it might it might work out. I mean, I'm not gonna have high hopes for this first piece, but you know, you we we get like two three of these videos in, and I might be, you know, good. So I found this girl. Her name is Emily Mackey Art. I'm gonna credit this video down below as I watch this tutorial and try to learn how to paint. Let's get started. And Wait, it's a mini bird. Wait, there's this little purple cloud with two little kids. This is like a beginner style tutorial. So, before we started, a lot of people ask me what brand of paint I use. I don't have the same. <laughs> All right, so this is already off to a different start. I don't have the same brand paint. I have, um, I went to my local Michaels. Ah, I went to my local Michaels. They had a little sale or whatever, and I like deals. I bought this bulk little set of acrylic things, deco art, and I'm gonna try to get the similar colors. Because the brand paint is not that important to me. I like this already. She said the brand of paint isn't important. Important to me is the color of the paint, particularly for this one. Magenta or any kind of magenta. It's gonna be super important to get those vibrant pinks. If you're just using, <laughs> I don't think I got magenta. I got baby pink. Using red and white to get your pinks. You're gonna be more disappointed than using a beautiful, brilliant magenta. So if you can pick one of those up from the store, it's gonna be great. We have got my water because we're doing acrylic painting. Which you wash off with water. And I've got a paper towel that I fold up and tuck right underneath my easel so that way when I'm brushing off the water off my brushes, it doesn't go fly across the table. All right, I don't have a paper towel, but I have a dirty rag. It's gonna work just as fine. Which is no fun at all. And I'm also using these MDF boards as my canvas. You can see it's not gesso, and I only have my MDF boards gesso. She's not telling me what she's doing. Acrylics on water I don't have to worry about having a gesso layer on top. So I'm just going straight in with my colors. And what I'm doing first is mixing up a pretty purple and slap it right on that little piece of wood there. Just covering up the entire thing so that I have I'm sorry, she's not giving me any direction. She is just putting stuff on the, okay, I'm gonna just start put. I'm gonna put everything she has on the board, on the board. So it looks like she has some white, so. Dang it, why is this the only one that's closed? Suspicious, why do I always get suspicious packaging? I always get something that looks like it's been tampered by the employees. Come on. Ain't this supposed to be therapeutic? <sighs> Breathe in. Breathe out. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this white. I, I can't get it off the thing, so I'm putting this stuff on. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Here's a top for a reason. The, oh, I have desert turquoise. <laughs> oh, yes, one thing is right, that's good. So the white and the turquoise is also a good start. It's like, <laughs> because the brand of paint is not that important to me. You can see I'm using a bunch of different brands, but what's important to me is the color of the paint, so particularly for this one. Titanium white. I have, yeah, I have titanium white. That's our turquoise. This is true blue. This isn't ultramarine blue. But I'm sure true blue is just as good, right? It's important to get those vibrant pinks. If you're just using red and white to get your pinks for water based. How do you make purple? What's the primary color? Secondary? 
I have purple right here. I don't know what any of this means, but I hope to learn. That way can build up. This is what we have. I almost always do this with my paintings. Oh shoot, she's already putting stuff on the board. Wait, give me a second. It's covering up the entire thing so that I have just some paint to look on top of. Alright, what brush is she using? She's using a bigger brush. Maybe this. Right? Yeah, like this one. I mean, my purple doesn't look like that. I don't know what to add to make it look like that. Cause she homemade a purple. Like she took like the blue and the, she told me I couldn't survive without the magenta. She told me, no, she didn't use magenta. She did a little bit. She put a little magenta in there. Okay. She took some of the blue, but I don't have that blue. Like my blue is like, you're going to see my, let's just say my colors are going to be a little off from what you see on this, uh, on this board but you know welcome to my level okay all right we should have been here at the beginning but you know that it takes me a while to figure stuff out even lower what's up don't get too low now don't go too don't go too low now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take some of this blue and like mix it with this magenta i mean with this purple and see what happens i don't think it looks as professional as hers did but it's coming a little together right A little poop of blue. How does she keep these clean? Those are the questions I have. And slap it right on that little piece of wood there. Oh, she put some white. That's what I'm missing. White. Because it looks like pastel -y. We all know we got problems with the white. Don't come out too fast. 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 Boop. Too fast, but you know, whatever. Okay. That, you know. It actually looks a little the same, right? Um, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? A little red? Because she used magenta. So, oh, you know what might help? Red. Because she said magenta is just the pink and the white. I mean, the white and the red. So, why not? Add a little dab of red in there. Dab of bullcrap. Yep, that's what that is. It looks pretty similar, if I do say so myself. I think I did a pretty good job. I'm not going to lie. That's the purple. To work on top of that way, can build up the colors. I almost always do this with my paintings. Did she dip her brush? That way, can build up just some paint to work on top. Oh, so what she did is I think it was wet and then she dried it a little bit. So I'm gonna dry it a little bit. I'm dry it. Yep, that's it right there. And I'm gonna just paint the canvas. It doesn't look the same. What a day! What a day! really relaxing this is really really relaxing I'm not gonna lie Picasso who and my surface is also different than hers she's using like a smooth wooden surface and I got like a little like you know I'm doing what I, I'm doing what I can I'm doing what I can oh look purple on purple what's that I mean I gotta mix more <sighs> I need more purple I don't even remember what I did to get that purple I'm stressed. <gasps> what is going on? How did I get the purple the first time? Somebody in the comments right now tell me that it's gonna be okay. Tell me that I can be an artist. Tell me that it's gonna be okay. You know, I don't mind if this goes bad because when I show my progress pictures of where I've grown and my artistic abilities, I feel like I'll be very happy. It's gonna be that type of thing, right? Right? All right, this is the background. It doesn't look bad, like, seriously. It's a little uneven in color, but. I can build up the colors. I almost always do this with my paintings. I don't have a scraper. I don't, I don't have a dog. Yes, I do. Now I'm going to step a pretty magenta color. I'm going to add a decent amount of water so that it's kind of. has like a light pink magenta type thing going on. So, what I'm going to do, she's using a smaller brush for this. She made like a pink magenta y typey thingy going on. So, I'm going to take my pink, put some of that over there, take some of my white. Nope, this is doo-doo pink. 
Huh. I'm gonna wet my little brush or whatever. Wet that hole, wet that hole. Dab it off a little. She said we want a wet brush to give it um. But how wet? Pretty magenta color. I'm gonna add a decent amount of water so that it's kind of decent amount. Looks Got it. Because right now I'm drawing out where the sky is. Oh, that's a lot. Are. I'm kind of just outlining. I'm gonna take my own artistic take on this and try to give it my own sky. You know, like I wanted to. I want it to be similar, but also be my own. So, she looks like she's just making it her own, you know? Like, you know, making it my own, you know? You know? You know? You get it, you know? Yeah, you know. So, I feel like my clouds, oh, oh that's not light enough. Frack, frack. Oh, 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 it's dripping. Uh. Yeah, it's definitely my own take. Can't take that away from me, you know? You can't take away my creativity and trying to really find what I, what, what the, what the, what the, what do I think when I think pink skies, you know? Like, what do I feel? I feel like my sky is a little different. That's all I'm saying. It's a little different. But I don't want it too different. How do even her pre-clouds look like clouds? Mine, maybe if I shake my hand a little bit. My clouds are crying. I'm crying. I think that's it. That's pretty freaking close. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty close. I mean, if I do say so myself, that's pretty goddamn close. You can see on the bottom I have a puffy kind of cloud at the top I have. Oh, I see what she's doing. Dang. A cloud going all the way through the middle of it. And right now I'm just putting on that pink paint, making sure that I'm outlining where my clouds are gonna be, the pink areas being where the sky is, the purple areas being where the clouds are gonna be. Oh, the pink is the sky. I did say pink skies. I thought that the pink was the clouds. Even though I knew and I was saying pink skies, it. How did she get it to look puffy like that? Am I using the wrong brush? She says Hush, to baby. wet my brush. Coming a lot. This can't be the right kind of brush. Why is she not telling me the brushes that she's using? I don't know what kind of brush that I'm supposed to use. I don't know. I'm freaking now. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna use this one. She's just making a gradient, like creating a. a yeah. So I'm gonna um, take some white and make it lighter, right? 
All right, yeah, this is a lighter pink for sure. And I don't see that much water on it. I wet it a little, but you know. You know, it's just not having the same effect. It just don't, don't, it, it don't, uh, it don't got the same effect. Don't know where I went wrong. Don't really know. Can't really put my finger on it, if I'm being honest. Can't put my finger on it. Let me just press play real quick. So cover all that up, doing a nice layer there. And again, using that blending technique where I take a wet paintbrush and I blend it out with the hard edges while the paint is still wet. You gotta be kind of quick about it. Quick! Another layer, another layer, just adding a lot on. And now I'm gonna set up a very light lavender because I'm starting to do the highlight. Lavender, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm still trying to keep it together on the pink, boy. I'm trying to keep it together on the pink. Why is my edges not blending like that? It don't look the same. It don't even look good. What is she doing? This is what I get for trying to make my own clouds. Yep. All I'm gonna say is, it's a really cloudy day over here on this uh, canvas. I don't know if this is proper, but I wanna use these little spongy thingies, right? These, I don't know what, but some sponges might do your girl some good. So I'm gonna go on with some sponges and see what happens. It didn't help because because it didn't help that's all it took it didn't help it didn't help i don't know anything about shadows and lights and i'm trying to understand but i can't sis is talking about darks and lights and the sun is hidden from the left to the right and i'm just trying to get clouds all right so i'm about to freestyle at this point you know i appreciate her for the tutorial but I don't think I'm a beginner. I think I'm a... We don't know at this point. We don't know what Taylor is. Taylor needs to go back to Michael's and return her paint supplies. That's what Taylor needs to do. My fucking computer died. My computer died and... So I had to go take a pee break. So she's telling me to put white where the light's gonna be. I haven't really discovered where the light is. They look like mountaintops. Pink, frumpy, stupid mountaintops. And then where the light hits. I don't know where the light hits. I've been trying to figure it out the whole time. I think the sun is on this side, but then I ended up doing this, and what is that? I'm not gonna lie, guys, I actually am getting very sad with myself. Like, this is very disappointing. I knew I wouldn't do great, but I didn't know to this magnitude, like. And here I'm adding little bits of just slightly darker areas. I'm going in and just adding a little more darker colors to my original paint blob, and, um, trying to attempt to get some kind of gradient with my cloud. Now I'm adding more of like a mid-tone, very softly blending in all that, trying to create areas where it's starting to get a little bit shadowed, but not too much. Light still hits these areas, but not nearly as much as the most highlighted areas, which are gonna be the edges of the cloud. Tied up. And she told me that it needed to be some shadows in there. 
I'm trying to mix some shadows, but the shadows are the same color as the goddamn motherfucking cloud. I'm gonna pull it up on my phone. All right, we're gonna take some of this other pink. It's red! Man, somebody gotta fight me. All right, what's next, sis? She's making stars and stuff. She's making stars and stuff. Very, very slowly and softly so let's get her done. Tiny, tiny little moon at the top. I love doing this. It's my favorite. It makes my whole painting seem so magical. And I'm just dotting in a bunch of little stars. I'm getting twinkle, twinkle. I'm going to wing this one. That's supposed to be a shooting star. A moon. Ooh. A boomerang. It looks like a mother freaking boomerang. Pretty she did a tree. Yet. I'm just kind How of am I supposed to do a tree? Where I want it to be. And I'll slowly go in with a very thin brush to add the detail. Now I'm thickening them a little bit, adding a couple of those little leaves that are on them. And I'm also drawing out the very rough Here we go. Each palm from looks like All right, so I'm going palm. in with my blue black, my more blue than black, and going for it. Okay, you got a straight line. do them bombs. All right, listen. With the palm trees, this doesn't look half bad. It looks a little like Funky, and I'm gonna call it abstract. My other little homie in the back chilling. He a little bit shorter than the tall one, so you know what I'm saying? He don't get as much height, but he get just as much love. All right, like, sis is not looking bad. Now, if you do a side by side, that's a different story, but all right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the final reveal. Here we are. Uh, all right, so I'd like to call this beautiful piece of art Kawabunga, bitch. And the reason I'm calling it that is because, well, it only seems appropriate. I imagine my clouds now is more of waves considering it has more of a blue tone than what the beautiful woman in this video has done. And I must commend her on her skills, her talent and artistic ability because this honey was hard. But you know what? But you know what? Everybody gotta start somewhere. This is my first painting. My first, it's going on the wall. It's going on the wall. So if we get closer, you can really see, you can really, really, really see the problems, the, the issues. I'm gonna be real with y'all. But from afar, like afar, afar, it's like, wow, what a piece of art on your wall, right? <laughs> yeah, so if you guys like this video and you want me to try to do something else, comment stuff that I should paint, like memes, or if y'all wanna send me pictures and I can try to paint, oh, y'all should send me pictures. Follow me on Instagram, and this is my Instagram. DM me pictures, cute pictures of y'all, and I'm gonna try to draw y'all. Okay, so if you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah. Mwah.